Welcome back to Stories from African American History. Today's story comes from the life of the first African American woman in space, Dr. Mae Jemison. Born in 1956 in Decatur, Alabama, Mae always loved science. She loved being outside and looking up at the stars, knowing that one day she would travel to space. After graduating from high school at 16, she earned a degree in chemical engineering from Stanford and later a medical degree from Cornell. After working as a doctor for a while, she was accepted into NASA's astronaut training program and traveled to space on the shuttle Endeavour mission STS-47. This story comes from her elementary years as her dream of space develops. Let's begin. May Among the Stars, written by Rhoda Ahmed, illustrations by Stasia Burrington, and read with permission from Harper. Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed, but Little May was different. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see Earth. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, and the mountains. We live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way you can see Earth from space. Astronaut? Do you think I could do that? Of course you can. If you can dream it, if you believe it and work hard for it, Anything is possible. May asked her mom to take her to the library. She searched for books about space and astronauts. After dinner, May drew pictures of space, and she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You will find your way, May, because if you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. But space is so, so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see Earth floating and turning like a shining crystal ball. The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone, and every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we are all going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be, and what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher, football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut. All the kids started laughing. Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. At home, May started crying. Miss Bell said I can't become an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, said her mother. She told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her, she's my teacher. I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, and go to space. Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard for it, anything is possible. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. 